Oh my goodness, who wants to hang out with crazy old man Zach and the things I do? Oh yeah. Let's do the show. Yeah, I found out Facebook will let me download videos now from the group. So that makes me somewhat satisfied. Hope everybody's doing good. Hats off to everybody out there working hard in the garden life. Let me pull up a monitor. to die. Oh, okay. I just learned something. I can add, add everyone once a day. Yeah, thanks for telling me, all you guys. See, nobody's helping. Anyway, everything's going good here. Pigeons are, uh, the frillbacks are, are actually trying to build a nest. They've been hunting around the house. I've been studying them and observing them for several days. Well, since I got them, I, I, they're my kids. And uh, I've been watching their behavior, and they've been looking for a place upstairs. Well, today I came down to clean up the pen and do my routine checkup on them. And I see that they have gathered up items from the, that they found around the room. They've hauled in there to build a nest with. They've got a, one of my cords for, to plug into a headset, you know, and... Uh, Jamie Choate, Cherish. So how do I see your live video? Uh, well you go into the group. But you can come back here and take a seat if you want, and then. I just didn't pose, man. Do the uh, yeah, go to just take a seat, and I'll introduce you. It's your show, bro. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a special guest that's been here for a while on board the ship, uh, Brandon. 
and he came down. He's got a guitar. He he plays music. He's a very good guitarist, songwriter. He I'll might just he might play a song for thank us. You. That was very, thank you. Um, I don't call myself good, but no, I'm fine. And uh, Cherish, Tracy Lynn. Well, why am I tagging people? I already said out everyone. Anyway, yeah, so the pigeons are laying eggs. Brandon's here visiting for a while. He's been helping out, polishing. This is tobacco, I just want everybody to know. Yeah, he's been. Tobacco. Uh, he's been polishing the cannon. Yeah, the other cannon. Krug's got the one on the bow on the front on the on the on the starboard side and he's been polishing the one on the port side yeah port side anyway yeah so i'm having fun with the pigeons they're nesting i brought down what i did was i took a pair of uh brush cutters uh pruning shears and i went outside and i've got these two big juniper bushes out in front with a big stretch of them so i cut off a bunch of juniper branches and snipped them up into small pieces and a handful of leaves and some other items like that. So hopefully they'll they'll start uh, nesting with those materials. And we'll have another egg soon. It looks like the mama's, uh, she's been acting as though she's going to be laying an egg. So I actually expect to see an egg sometime soon. So the other two, the archangels, will be hatched here in... Uh, four more days so i should see an angel, archangel hatch four more days and then um we'll see what happens with those a lot of times the parents will just feed one of the babies and um i'm hoping that they feed them both we'll see but it's all part of the deal so it's very fun anyway i felt like playing the guitar Oh yeah, I wanted to get people connected to this live video, but I didn't know how to find it. It's a private group. You have, uh, to, you have to invite them. Uh, individually? Yeah, you have to invite them individually. Oh, I didn't know that. But I don't just want to invite a bunch of people into the show that aren't interested. I see. I couldn't... You know, send, share them the videos that are public. Yeah. I, well, and I, let I, them know. I shared the videos only that spoke to me. You know, in the moment that I... I'm not I talking to the to the circus cl no. clowns. No. I'm I've got a handful of people that have joined the group. And well, I have a bunch of people that probably would like to watch it. I just don't, I thought it was a video that I could share with my family. No, it's a private it's a private show. Oh, so okay. they have I, to be in the group to see it. My bad. My bad. My misunderstanding. Well, hey, it is that much more of an honor to be here, brother. We're good. Mm. Glad, glad to have you. We had, this is our third guest on the show. Uh, first we had uh, Timothy Mitchell and his wife Allison. And then we had Andrew Wallace, uh, awesome guitar player and a fat. Uh, he came here with his big old motor home and parked out front of my house and stayed for several days and we had a great time. And uh, now I got Brandon here who came by to see what the what's up with Mad Zach. And so he's been staying here, gleaning me from in, some intel to help him establish his little operation, get his vessels going and his little fleet. And um, I thought, well, let's do a show. Now that things have calmed down and I've got all my work done, I can play a little bit. Yeah, so I can kill some time. I ain't gotta do nothing for the rest of the day, except for let the dog out to pee and uh, make sure Mama's got something for dinner to eat when she gets home. Who's out there? Is anybody out there want to chat? Before I start playing, let me see if I can make a magic song. I don't know. I just felt like playing the guitar. Sometimes some nice sounds come out of it, so I thought I'd come in and share with the group. I'm just debating on whether or not I want to play it acoustically or electrically. I just could play it acoustically, yeah. Yeah, I just play it acoustically. I'll just be an accent where I can and if I can. Well, you know. If the spirit moves. If me, you find it, a, if there's a pocket to jump in, of course, you're always welcome, but. That's what it is. That's what it's called. Yeah. I'll stay in my pocket.
they never say a word, but they say everything at all. Oh my goodness, if you send it. Makes you feel good. Yes, it does. There's no buzz in the world like it. So, and it's been working on writing some songs. He's got a lot of material out there. His band Sodos. What's the band called? Sodos. You got it. You got it right. Sodos. You. you can find it on YouTube. I'm not self-seeking, so but I appreciate the the word, man. Do you uh, you feel like? Uh, Playing a song, uh, yeah. creating a creating a little ditty. I always love uh, improv. Planting the seed. Go Amen. ahead, take a stab. Grab one of those, any one of those instruments you want. Oh, sure. Here's one. And uh, right here. this one's kind of already hooked up, so. <clears throat> you can bring that chair right there. Thanks, bud. Gotta right. clean it. Right. Yeah, I, I actually got some shampoo back. Oh my god. Yeah, she needs a bath. Does it have a name? No, I like to call it Agile because it says Agile. Yeah, mine's named <laughs> Rosie. That was Rhonda. I was just playing. Rhonda. Rhonda. You said. What's that? You said it, this one's Rhonda? Rhonda, yeah. Rhonda, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I actually wrote a Rita couple songs. Is upstairs, that's Rhonda, and that's Rosie. Oh my gosh, the three R's. How yeah. Fun. Everything R, because I'm a pirate. R! Hard R's all the way around! I've actually wrote a few songs on this one. Uh, Rhonda. And I didn't write anything on Rita, but I just kind of played around on her. She's really nice. I haven't touched the other one, Rocky. I don't like men. Oh, Rosie. Never mind. I might touch this one. All right, so. I don't know. I guess I didn't bring my notebook down here. Well, we'll just make something.
Jennifer, I see you out there. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, I just I just kind of do that for fun. Just zone out and make raves and stuff. Oh, cool. You can watch what I just played. Because I don't honestly know. <laughs> oh, you want to watch what you just played? I mean, that's what you're doing right now. Well, it's the live monitor. Oh, that's the live. Oh, we got two of the same thing. Show. I just pulled it up on the other. Oh, okay. That was tripping me out. Dude, that's like a looper. That's what this thing got. <clears throat> well, that would be cool. I've never actually used one. Yo guys, come on. Where do you wanna go from here? I don't really care. Just as long as we all get along in the end, I don't give a day. Hey, we're all family. And we look just like you and me Can't you see I'm a person just like you I've got a history And I don't need your permission Oh, I don't need your validation I don't need your taste Your music or your waist I don't need anything But my God and my friends yeah, hey. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Oh. My God is the same as yours. I don't care what would you say. You're just a person like myself. And I'm the most empathetic one that I've ever met. Cause no one seems to give a shit about how I feel. So, hey. How's it going today? My friends and my family Over the net, over the USA Hey This is the first time I ever just like free float in front of a camera guys so Zach talked me into it Hey Babe, I just need a taste. I just need a taste of the.
say How you doing today I just gotta say I just wanna say This Hey How you doing today I just gotta say yeah. I just gotta say hey. I just gotta. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, very right. good. Thanks. What'd you think, Jennifer? I know you're still watching. I see an eyeball peeking at me. You're not saying nothing because you're so bashful. Yeah, my ass. Start <laughs> talking. Anyway, uh, I just posted. Photos, a, yeah. I just shared a. Uh, a uh, a blog post in my in the comments there. I want to read it because uh, it's it's nonsense, but it's not. And what it was was I spent time writing in my blog journal in my blog book, of, you know, from the perspective of where I didn't talk about the day outright. I talked about that little piece of solitude and you know when you tap into your actual computer and your brain your consciousness I was about that let's just get into it anyway this is called not the day a fan hums in an orchestra of tiny ringing audio auditory sensations reaching out at the speed of sound in a room so dark not even the shadows can see blind depth perception I'd imagine travels much faster than both sound and light Think of it as Bluetooth with the other side. The farthest place you can go in the blink of an eye. Consciousness, yes, and tinnitus, I know. Some say it's the sound of blood rushing through the veins in your ear, but it could also be sound of electromagnetic energy in your mind. Or maybe the sound of the absence of light, the cry of a rabbit forever in the moment, just as it's being killed, that scream. Oh, yeah. Julie's steady exhalations say she's well asleep, and Riley's sleeping under the bed. A sudden cramp in my foot rustles the noise of fabric because guys sometimes sleep with their socks on. And I'll tell you why. Firemen know this. Yes, wearing socks prevents blisters, and boots will give you blisters fast, for one thing. Jennifer knows that. Yeah. <laughs> Getting dressed is faster. Never knowing when you might have to jump up and start running. I got a pair of leggings on that are like long johns. I got a long sleeve ACDC Highway to Hell shirt and socks on. Fire bell rings, boom. Pants, boots, hat, coat, truck, out the door, just like that. And then there's the linen. Yes, that expensive linen. The silk sheets and all the satin. Men rarely do patties, but for the tearing the nails back when they get hung up on the fabric when they're putting their socks on. Wearing socks to bed prolongs the life of the linen. Ah, which reminds me that my ex-in-laws hand me down bed sheets where war patterns in them that whispered secrets to you about their sex life. Yes, it did. Yes, socks to bed. What else? Oh, my goodness. Self-conscious. Yes. We like to look attractive, especially at bedtime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And every little thing all day long was the romance, putting <laughs> the foreplay, putting the water in the ice cube trays. Oh. Yeah, all that. Well, we don't want things to start off with foot rubs and fungus fingers. Mm, yeah. Unless it's right fungus. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. No, not with the pleasure platter for two. Oh, baby. And out of sight, out of mind. We don't want her being distra 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 distracted <laughs> yeah, with our feet. Cold floors and old man's bladder. Yes. The tile floor in the bathroom. Just, yeah, yeah. Just get a carpet, you'd say. For what? It ends up musty and thrown away. Another thing in a landfill. <laughs> Let's not forget. Socks were a sacrifice Albert Einstein made do with his genius. Yes, his wife had too many clothes to fold. <laughs> and the bears get me all the time. Yeah, all these people running around with bare feet like kids. Kids running around with bare feet complaining about being cold. Wearing socks saves heat, and here's the <laughs> and here they want to ban gas stoves while never considering the furnaces. And all damn people ain't wearing no socks. Yeah. <laughs> Toilet paper crisis will never be a reality in a world where people use their socks to wipe their ass with. <laughs> yeah. 
Speaking of teaching a man to fish, you can put fish in your socks so you don't get your socks pockets slimy. Yeah. In the old days, people could actually get socked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Usually people never see a sock common. Yeah. And what comes in the socks? Just what you put in it. You, yeah. Oh, come in the socks. <laughs> yeah. When you, put, when you put your hand inside of it, that's what you get back out. It's just like a garden. <laughs> yeah. Your hand is what you sneeze in, but you can blow your nose with a sock. And you can influence people to believe you're a hard worker when you got to change the socks in your pocket. Or are you happy to see me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, in a world full of twisted people, safe socks are the most recommended. But with my new patented life rejuvenating personality and empowering energy I get from the cotton fronts grown in Giza, nothing is more intimate than wearing socks to bed. Yeah. Especially if you're real messy. Mm. Yeah. So they're so comfortable, it's like wearing no socks at all. And my girl loves them too. For just $9.99, I'll send you not one, but two, yes. And if you roll the tops down, <laughs> you'll get them half off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, socks can change the world. The power of good socks. Heart rate was up to 142 that night. Yeah, after sex. That's my little joke. Heart rate. Yeah. And just one more offer. For an addition of just $1.99, I'll include your socks to have the magical power, priceless power of being a washcloth to help wash off after your long day of chewing cheese ball scum build up off your hand that you don't pick your toes with. Yeah, this absence of intrusion, a cat with a ball of gilded twine alone in the tailor's shop, and several minutes have passed since the cuckoo clock quit its chiming warning that midnight has passed, and my consciousness is at peace in the moment. Tomorrow, we will speak of today, where today, we must speak of tomorrow. Amen. Mm. Mm. That was juicy. Well, let's just throw an amen on the end of there. Yeah. Thank you, Father God. Yeah. You said I got everybody's attention with the socks for the important message? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mad sex a genius. Yeah. We're truly mad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. You know what? And I say acts of genius. I say acts of God just because the way this guy makes this stuff up on the spot, people, if anybody, if any of you have ever actually met this guy, uh, he, is be, he is led by the Spirit, okay? He, don't, he just spends his hours in meditation and, like, he is true to his word. Like, he is who he says he is. I drove 17 hours because for I must have, I must, I just had to know. For I was in a place in my life, I just needed to know truth. For I never had a father figure. And, uh, this man seems so genuine online, you know, I've watched just only, a few, it only took a few videos to really know, really just one of those videos, like, and you, you get a connection with the guy, but uh, I, one connection online like that, it was enough to know I needed to know for real, you know, and I didn't necessarily ask to come here, it was just fate that brought me here, and everything lined up for me to come here, therefore I did, and he is true of his word, people. I am but confirmation. Oh, Brandon, pass me your tissues. Let's do Runaway Bride. This is my big debut song, Runaway Bride. They might play it at every wedding reception around the world in the future. You never know. It's one of my seeds in the garden. Right. 
everybody's having a great day. I know everybody's busy. You'll see this video later. That's just fine. But no, you know, I do this with a pretty good handful of you guys out there that we do have a pretty good established relationship where you care about you know, what's going on. Um, I'd like to hear something. Send me a care pigeon. Let me know what I did. Yeah, tell me. Bobby Baraka, I see you out there, just commented on my baby post. Hope you're doing good, Bobby. Did I get that right? You're moving back to Maine? Memorial Day. Yeah, last show Danny and I did together, and then he passed away. Yeah, we actually got the radio's attention when we did that show. Yeah, it was a, it was all an accident. Yeah, I said Danny, we should try and write a novelty song about this. Jennifer Wilbanks in the news. So I came to him with the lyrics, and we played with it, and and came up with an idea, and then we went down to the liquor store, the Delicatessen, to flirt with the real ritzy girl that worked there and play the song for her. And while we were doing that, a man came in, a man came out, a man came back, and he uh, asked me for a business card, and I didn't have one, and uh, he took my number down. Well, I didn't think anything of it. I was preoccupied with the fact that we just wrote a song, and, and I failed to recognize that that was an opportunity. Several months or weeks later, the guy calls me up and asks if we'd do a two-hour shot. 
do a do a two hour spot, do a show. And uh, I said, well, yeah, sure, we could do that. And I didn't know if we could or not, but we entertained a lot, and I figured we could run our mouths for two hours. So we went and we did the show. I called the radio or the the newspaper before we did the show to have them send a, a reporter down there. Well, the reporter shows up after we finish our set. So she missed the set because little did we know the whole celebration was going on downstairs in the bar and we were up playing in the cafeteria. Yeah, Danny actually made a comment about it. So anyway, the radio stations did end up calling three of them and they wanted us to redo the music in the studio to put on the air. And uh, Danny was actually owed studio time for helping construct some studio space for some co a company. And uh, we went to cash that in, and in the process of that happening, Danny passed away. Yeah, he died in his sleep, 47 years old. Everything shut down on him from, from alcohol and, and uh, abuse of not nurturing himself properly. Danny was a product of the jazz age, and like many musicians, Duke Ellington's whole band, everybody died from drinking. Anyway, that's the end of the show. I got to go and do some more goofing off with some other areas, plant some seeds on the other end of my garden. I hope everybody has a great day. This again, this is Brandon. He's a member of the crew. Um, peace, love, you know who cares. Uh, guys, I hope everybody's doing good. And uh, stay tuned and see how the progress comes along with my little pigeon empire. Yeah, undermining the federal communications. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys.